Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Infusion and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be super special because this is the first time I'm doing a PC build ever on the channel. Now for today's build, we're aiming for around a $2,000 budget. It did go slightly over due to some upgraded storage and things like that. However, it is very close to $2,000. Now the PC we're going to build today is mainly aimed towards editing, however it would make a great gaming computer as well. Now I will say if this was mainly meant for gaming, I would probably spend a little bit more money on the graphics card and upgrade to the 2080 at least, and then maybe take a little bit of money away from the RAM because you don't really need 32 gigs of RAM to play some games, unless you're playing a lot of open world games like that. However, you do need a lot of RAM for editing in Premiere Pro and stuff like that. The CPU we'll be using in today's build is the Intel Core i9-9900K. It's great for overclocking, great for editing, and I'm super excited to see how it performs in today's build. Uh, for the graphics card, we'll be using the EVGA RTX 2070 with eight gigs of RAM, so it's great for gaming and editing as well. So that's a good, good baseline graphics card in the upgraded model of the 2070s, 2060s, 2080s. Like I did say, I'd probably upgrade to the 2080 if I was mainly gaming on this PC. However, this is a good standard to cover both editing and gaming. Now, for the motherboard, we'll be using the Asus ROG Maximus Hero 11, and this is great for overclocking as well and pairs up nicely with the i9, has great I.O., so it really covers all the bases there. Now, for the RAM, we'll be using the Corsair Vengeance LPX, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, DDR4, 3200 megahertz, so great RAM for editing, great for After Effects, overkill for gaming. Uh, for storage, we'll be using the Samsung NVMe M2 970 Pro, which is 512 gigabytes and the Samsung 860 Evo SATA SSD, which is a terabyte. So we'll be using this one to boot off of and install apps. And for this one, we'll just be doing long-term storage and maybe some editing files on the NVMe as well. Now for our CPU cooler, we have the Corsair H100i Pro, and this is really a standard in today's builds, and it'll cool the i9 very well. And it's basically an all-in-one. If you don't know what that is, it's a uh, radiator and then the warm water goes through it and the fans blow through it and cool the water to go back to the CPU. So it's technically water cooling, but it uses fans as well. So it's an all-in-one. Now, speaking of keeping things cool, we do have three extra fans from Be Quiet here to keep our whole PC cool in our Fractal Design Focus G case. And the reason we went with this case is because when it comes to cases, if you don't care about how the PC looks per se, uh, you don't need to invest in some $150 case as long as it has good airflow like this one does. Uh, this is a great option because it may not need to look cool, but as long as it's functional, it can save you a few bucks as well that you can invest in other parts of the PC, which is great. Um, of course, down here we do have some thermal paste, which is pretty standard. We may not be using it because most AIOs do come installed with thermal paste. However, that'll be helpful to reapply every six to 12 months anyways. All right, so now that we've gone over all the components, let's go ahead and start building this PC. And like I did say, this isn't going to be a step-by-step. -step. It's just gonna be kind of a time-lapse and I'm gonna take breaks every once in a while to kind of show you an important part like clipping in the CPU and stuff like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right to it. So we're done building the PC. It was super smooth experience. Everything went together really well. I really like the case, it's very spacious, fits all the case fans without trying to get big hands in there and dropping screws. Everything was really nice and easy to install. Looks very clean and professional in my opinion. 
Um, but right now, what we're gonna do is do some benchmark tests. I already installed Windows and did a test boot just to make sure everything worked. Had no issues there. But what we're gonna be doing is running this through a couple of games to see frame rates, temperatures, uh, usage, and then we're going to be doing a render out of Premiere to see how this can handle a 4K render. So I'm, I'm expecting really good results from this PC, so let's go ahead and get into the benchmark tests. All right, so the results we got back after the tests were very impressive. I liked the frame rates we were seeing and the usage, the amount of usage we were using on the graphics card and uh, CPU. The temp stayed super cool because of all the case fans and airflow we've got going on here. Uh, really impressed with this guy. It's a great all-in-one stream editing gaming PC, so you can stream from it and play your games all in one computer, so you don't have to have two computers. But yeah, this thing crushes through a lot of stuff. The render speed really surprised me. It went a lot faster than I thought it was for a 4K file. That's really impressive. So yeah, this thing's this thing's a beast, and for just over two thousand dollars, you're getting a very solid machine here. And I'd really recommend this, these parts to anyone who's looking to build a two thousand dollar budget gaming, editing, or streaming PC. It's really great. All the components that are a part of this build will be linked in the description below. So if you are interested in building this PC or you wanna add some of these parts to your existing PC, make sure you use those links. It helps the channel out and helps support me so I can keep making videos like this. Anyways, if you have any questions about this PC build or the PC build you may be stuck on yourself, let me know in the comments below or you can send me a DM on Twitter. I'm super active on there. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time guys, peace out.